So hello everybody, it is Monday, so it's time for another power query video and in today's power query video I'm going to show you something very very cool. I'm going to show you how you can conditionally replace a value in power query without adding a new step, everything in one step, in one go, super quickly, and you can replace anything you want, okay? Let's get started. Okay guys, so this is what we're going to do. I have two columns, one that is called process, another type. And if type is system, we want to replace process with a prefix, so it's sys, whatever, okay? So if you don't know anything about M, this is what you probably would do. You go here to our column, custom column, and then you go in here and you say, if type equals system, then you're probably, if the, you're going to do, you know, concatenate the word sys with process, else process. So basically what we're saying here is that if the type is system, add the six uh, prefix, otherwise just leave it as six. Okay. And then you get it here, you delete the other one. And if your tables are long and wide, it is, the, you know, you, you can do it like that, obviously, but there is a better way. What we're going to do is we're going to copy this because we're going to need it, the if statement that we just created. I'm going to delete this and watch the magic happen. Here's what we're going to do. What we want to do is replace a value with a value. We already, we can have Power Query help us write the code. So if we use replace values and we put here value whatever to whatever, just, just so we get the base code that we can then change. So replace value A to B. Obviously nothing is going to happen, but now we have something to work on with here. So watch this. We're going to say for each row or for each value on the column process, then do the if statement that we did on the previous, you know, on the manual step. i watch that. How cool is that? With this, you can change that if statement to anything you want. You can multiply values, divide, you can add in the middle text, you can add at the end text, you can anything you like conditionally with one step without adding a column. So this is a super, super efficient way to replace values conditionally. How cool is this? And this was like a two minute step. One, well, probably if you take away all my talk. Anyhow, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you hopefully on Wednesday. It is, you know, summer vacation. Hopefully I've made a video. Until then, take care and bye bye.